Hi, Leo. Adidi here with Lodestone Productions, where we help you discover your true north. So we're going to do a quick reading for the general energies for Leo for the month of December. Uh, bear in mind that spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum, so the timing may be a little fluid. Also, this is a general read, so not everything is going to resonate with everyone. Keep what resonates, leave what does not. If this reading does resonate with you, please be sure to like as well, like the video, as well as subscribe to the channel and also click the notification bell so that you are made aware of more videos because I will be uploading periodically. All right, uh, let's get this one started. Let's see what's happening with our sun sign of Leo for the month of December 2020. Here we pick. Let's see. So we've got the Ace of Cups, the Emperor, and the Hermit. Second row is the Ten of Swords, the Page of Wands, and the Knight of Pentacles. Third row, the Seven of Wands, the Death card and the chariot okay so off the bat um, i see a need for self-control i see that you feel the need for self-control leo okay uh, with the ace of cups the emperor and the hermit all in the same row like and you are dead serious about this too like Yes, there's a new opportunity here, but you're wanting to you're you're wanting to keep it under wraps and keep it in a controlled environment to give it in your in your opinion the best opportunity to grow. So yeah, keep it keep it on the shush, right? Because this is this this ace of cups here, it's all I see is radiation. Okay. So we've got the Ace of Cups here, right? And then like check out the Emperor and you see all, all of his countenance around him. Like if anybody knows anything about mastering the headspace, it's this guy right here, right? And then we're looking at the Hermit card and you see how you've got this pot right here. Um, it's a cup, a receptacle. Maybe an Ace of Cups, maybe, that we want to control. Yeah, keep under wraps mm -hmm. until it's time to be revealed. Yeah, I see you, Leo. All right, next round, next line. We've got the Ten of Swords, the Page of Wands, and the Knight of Pentacles. So keeping this thing, if we're keeping it, sequestered um it's it's been a heavy load to bear right because you you're it's 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 causing it's a lot of mental work to do um and with the page of wands there's the i feel this like like you 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 want you want to just like shout it from the mountaintop but it's not it's not time Knight of Pentacles. It's it's not time. <laughs> it's not time, Knight of Pentacles. Like, okay, so you're torn between fast and slow energy. So the Page of Wands, that's quick it that's that's quick, hot, fiery, quick action, right? It's actually quick information, right? And then you've got the Knight of Pentacles, and he the Knight of Pentacles is very methodical thought it goal you know he's slow he's deliberate he's the slowest moving knight in the deck and this this new this this new emotional opportunity while it garners a lot of excitement there's still that need with the hermit sitting right next to the page of pentacles to say like wait hold on hold up you don't want it to come out too soon 
because if the air hits it too soon, it's going to affect you. So you just want to kind of chill out and slow down because there's a seven of wands that you want to defend this thing from, right? And you know that there are some changes, death card, that needs to happen before you can move forward, chariot, with this new thing. Well, that was pretty clear cut. So let's go ahead and clarify a little more with the Ace of Cups, the Emperor, and the Hermit. Let's see what we get here. Three of Wands, Two of Swords, and the Lovers. Okay. Three of Wands is waiting for your ships to come in. The Two of Swords is either not having enough information to make a decision or not liking the information that you've received and so you don't want to make a choice. And the Lovers is literally a card of choice. So you've got the Three of Wands here, right? And this is one of those where the seeds have been planted. You have sent your intention out and now you wait for your return mail from spirit. Your two of swords is that waiting energy, okay? In this context, it is literally the wait, right? Because you know that when you get all of the information that you're gonna have a choice to make lover's card. All right, so let's go ahead and clarify the second row with the 10 of swords, the page of wands, and the Knight of Pentacles for Leo. Page of Cups, Nine of Wands, and the Magi. You know that this thing that you're sitting on is major. Like, you know it. And because it's so, because it is what it is, and you know that you're able, you know that you manifested this. You know that this is, this is a direct result of a seed that you planted on purpose. And that you're, you're patiently waiting for a track to explode on. Like it's, it's, and like with the page of cups here, he's very, the page of cups is, is new. Again, with the ace and the page, we're, we're talking about things that are new and or undeveloped, which is why you're sitting in this gestation period and really excited about it. But this idea still needs, or this, this emotion still needs more time to become solidified. But you know, magician, that this is not only something that you manifested on purpose, but that you are going to continue to work on and cultivate to bring it to fruition. A beautiful thing. All right, so the last row, we've got the Seven of Wands, the Death, and the Chariot. Let's clarify this. We've got Justice. We've got the Nine of Pentacles, hey. And we've got the Nine of Swords. Yeah, we are coming to the end of this keeping it on the hush, okay? You've been doing, you've been doing so good. You've been doing so good at keeping these things under wraps and doing the work that you needed to do and spirit sees it and is ready to hand out justice for it and that you are going to be celebrated in the presence of your enemies because this mental anguish is about done. Rejoice, Leo. You're doing some good stuff, man. You're doing some, you've, you've done the good work. All right, so any final words for Leo for the month of December? King of Swords, the Tower, and the Four of Swords. Told you. Told you. 
this 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 time of of very uh, high octane mental activity you're about to be able to put that to rest like so we're talking about the king of swords and he is all about speaking the truth now it's not about speaking the pretty truth it's just speaking the truth it's telling it like a ti is right so we've got and he's oh and he's so good at it like the king of swords upright is you know just just give me the facts ma'am right and then you've got the tower which denotes to me that there's this the end is coming the end to this particular section of what it is that you're working on is is this part of it is coming to a close and it's time for the new foundation to start building but now for swords it's a time it's a time for you to rest while this tower is crumbling because you're going to need your strength magician to be able to further cultivate this ace of cups when it turns into a two of cups you agree all right so that has been your reading thank you so much for spending a part of your day with me um, again, if this resonates, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And go and check your other placements. If this did not resonate, there's something here for everyone. Um, again, my name is Aditi, and I will see you next time. Bye, Leo.